Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, Raul? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Raul. teacher. I'm fine. Good, good, Raul. Uh, Kenya, hello, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Good, good, thank you. Okay. Are you guys ready to start? Yes. Okay, hello, Eric, welcome. Okay, very good. Question, where are you in the platform? Send me a message. Where are you in the platform? Chat, send me a, a quick message. I want to know where you're at in the platform. Maybe you're doing the test, you can say final exam. Maybe you're in section five. Yes, hello? Section four, Carla, okay. You have to finish sec section four. We have to get started section five. This is our last week together, okay? Yo creo que para el viernes le tienen que ter terminar todo. Normalmente dan hasta el viernes. Okay, okay sí. para, incluyendo el, el examen final. Uh -huh. Eh, eh, ¿Los exámenes final solo tienen un intento cada uno o tienen varios? No, creo que lo puedes hacer las veces que tú quieras. Ok. Ok. Y Cherry, ¿cómo vamos a calificarnos si pasamos o no? En la, la plataforma, ella le da un resultado final. Ahí mismo. Ah, ya. Yeah. También pueden ustedes eh, pedir un, un certificado, también si quieren. Está, esa opción está en la plataforma también. Ok. Eh, let's see, ¿qué más? Eh, Stephanie, bueno, solo Carla me mandó el mensaje, section 4. Raúl, where are you in the platform? Finish uh, the section 5. You you finished section five and now you're yes. starting the exam. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Kenya, where are you in the platform? I'm in section five. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's say Eric, where are you in the platform? I finished everything. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Very good. Welcome, Vladimir. Welcome. Welcome. Where where are you in the platform? In five. Section five. five point, section five. Okay, very good. So this is the last week. Eh, solo tenemos cuatro clases hasta el jueves. Eh, se supone que para el viernes ya terminaron todo, incluyendo el examen final. Okay, so let's 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 go ahead and uh, try to do it today. So section five is very short; it's only one lesson. Okay, so section five, uno dos días más lo que le va a tomar ahí. Okay, so let's let's do section five today. We're going to practice more section uh, five tomorrow, and then we're going to. Uh, Se pueden poner en mute, por favor, solamente por un rato. Un segundito. Okay, uh, so we're going to do section five. It's only one lesson. Let's work on it today. We'll work on it tomorrow. And then the last two days, we can leave them for the exam so that we can focus on the exam. Now, yo no puedo hacer el examen por ustedes, okay? No, no podemos repasarlo sección por sección en la clase. 
pero este, sí me gustaría aclarar cualquier duda. Ok. All right, let's go to the, to the lesson. Are you guys ready? So I want to start off, since we have time for this section, right? It's only one section, one lesson in section five. So podemos pasar aquí dos o tres días si, quiere, si queremos, porque solo es una, una, una lección. So let, let's go to the video first, okay? Let's take our time. No hay prisa. Let's go to the video. ¿Quiénes vieron el video ya? De section 5.0, future with going to and will. ¿Quiénes ya vieron este, este video? ¿Algunos ya lo vieron? I watched. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, very good. So let's, let's take some time after this. Then I have a presentation that I want to give you. And then we'll go from there, okay? Let me see. Solo quiero ver unas notas mías. Let me see. Okay. So let's go. Let's go to the to the video first. Help with this exercise. Help with your plans. You'll also learn. Maybe we'll go fishing one day. I'll call in tonight. Are quite similar when you express future. Mm, that's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present the structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just... Um, stay home. These are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you were thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I am going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, that's what I want to express. Um, and so, in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. 
and then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form, and then whatever complements. So, like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Right? So, this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so, if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So, in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe. Uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. Uh, I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle, okay? I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use Okay. Do you have any questions about the video? Okay. So what are we doing in the video? We are expressing future plans. Okay. But there's two ways that you can do it. So the simple future in reality has two ways. You can use going to or you can use will. Okay. So you can use will or going to. So you tell you can ask, what is the difference? Cuando uso cual? Honestly, they're very, very similar. Okay? There is a small difference. The small difference is that you use going to for plans you've decided on. Okay? So these plans, you already made a decision. Ya hice algo para llevar a cabo ese plan. Ya tomé una decisión. Okay. Es algo que voy a hacer casi al 100% seguro de que yo lo voy a hacer. For example, uh, let's say, for example, I buy a plane ticket. Okay. I'm going to go visit my family in Miami and I buy a plane ticket. Okay. Now, eso ya es algo que un plan el cual yo ya he tomado una acción y ya me decidí. For plans I've decided on. So you ask me, hey, what are you going to do next week? Oh, I'm going to go see my family in Miami. Okay. 
so ya, yo ya tomé una decisión, yo ya he hecho algo para llevar a cabo esa decisión, estoy ya en proceso de plan. ¿Ok? So, number two, will. Entonces, ¿cuándo uso will? For possible plans. Ahí está la clave. Possible plans. ¿Ok? Eh, and, como son posibilidades, possible plans, I'm going to use words that express possibility. For example, no sé si notaron aquí, hay una diferencia, I guess. ¿Notaron esa palabra? Yes. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Que quiere decir como quizás. Mm -hmm. Probablemente. I, probablemente. Which is probably. Aquí está, probably. Um, I think. Yo creo que, you know, it's the same. Okay. ¿Por qué uso estas palabras? Porque es possibility. Okay. No es como aquí going to, que ya decidí, ya tomé esa decisión. Ok. Questions. ¿Cuándo usamos cada una? Pregunta. We good? Ok. So, eh, I want to go ahead and do, let's do a little practice. Five minutes only. Va a ser un breakout room chiquito. Five minutes. Ok. So, remember, si no estás seguro, entonces you can use possibly will i will but if you are sure then you use going to now uh, do you remember cuál es el negativo de will won't won't remember won't okay el negativo de will won't okay just solo para por si sale eso Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to do a breakout room session. Only five minutes, algo corto. Let's go to the breakout rooms and let's answer these questions, okay? Aquí están las preguntas en el video. Number one, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Think about after the coronavirus, cuando todo esto pase, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Number two, where are you going to go? Think about it. Number three, when are you going to take your next vacation? Okay. And right here, for number three, nadie de nosotros sabe, ¿verdad? Por la situación que estamos viviendo. So, ¿cuál usaría aquí? Going to or will? Will. ¿Por qué, por qué will? Porque no es seguro aún. Exacto, porque es poss possible plans, right? Es, no es seguro aún. Very good. Number four, how long are you going to be on your next vacation? All right. So, um, le voy a poner esta pregunta aquí en el grupo de WhatsApp so that we can discuss these questions. Okay. And let's go to breakout rooms. Va a ser una sesión pequeña, solo cinco minutos. Okay. Uh, si me permites, antes de eso, solo quiero poner las preguntas que vamos a discutir y la asistencia. Okay, let's go to groups now. Small groups, two. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Let's go to the groups.
Okay, let's go accept the invitation, please. Rafael, I'm gonna put you into a group, okay? Rafael, are you there? Rafael? Okay, good. I don't know. Okay, did you did you receive the questions in WhatsApp? Yes, did we did. Yes, we did. So take time, answer the questions. If you have plans, then you can put uh, going to. If you have, if you're not sure, if you're thinking about possible plans, then you can use will. Okay. okay. Who's gonna go first? Me. I ask. Uh, okay. How are you going to spend your next vacation, Eric? Maybe I will go to the beach. Okay. Okay, what about you, Michelle? Maybe I will um, go to Monte Cristo with my family. Okay, very good. What about you, Eric? And me? <laughs> Eric uh, said that he will go to the beach. Ah, okay, sorry. And bother me? And me? Yes. Uh, I probably visit my family. Okay. I probably will visit my family. Will visit my, my family. You can use contractions too, right? I'll probably visit my family. This is my family. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, Second next question. question. Mm -hmm. where, are, where are you going to go? So, como gastar, uh, what you were spend your time, something like that. So, that's why it spends. Donde vas a, a, a desperdiciar pues, tus próximas vacaciones. Sabes que spend no solamente significa gastar, sino también. Eh, no solamente es para dinero, sino también para tiempo. Okay. Entonces, por eso te preguntas. Ok, okay. respond. I guess I will to rest. Ok. I guess okay. I will rest. Rest. Okay. Yeah. Ok, Rafa. Where are you yeah. going to go? Where are you going to go? Um, I going to go to university. In your vacation. Ah, <laughs> mi vacation. Ay, lo siento. Es que, o sea, no, no entendía si el tema era siempre las vacaciones, pero oh, okay. sí, siempre. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Um, I'm... one week. One week is good. Y me, in my yes. case, maybe two week. Only that because I can I I have come back because in my house have my business. Oh, which one? I don't understand. De, de qué negocios? De cuáles? Ah, oh, este. Manicure y pedicure eh, en I, este, how do you say in English? Eh, credit. ¿El qué? Credit. The same, the same. Credit, credit, teacher. The same, mm -hmm. the same. Yes. Eh, y en you? I work in my in the business of my family. And it's called Bidrimer. You, Bidrimer. you know? Uh -huh. Yes, I know your mother. Ah, really? Sí. I am 
eh, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Soy cliente de ellos. I am a client of theirs. I am a client. Uh -huh. All my window wow. is eh, bought. Fueron compradas, así ah. dice, teacher. They were bought. They were bought in your business. Wow, thank you. Sí. Your mother is very spe special for me. Why? Eh, when I bought, she gave me less praise. It's called that, please, a teacher. She gives me, you can say, discount. Mm -hmm. She gives wow. she gives me a discount. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. See. Sí. Okay, did you guys do the questions? No, teacher. <laughs> you didn't do the questions. Okay, welcome back. That was a small session discussing the questions. Let me ask you a few here. Uh, number one, let me see, number one is, right. how are you going to spend your next vacation? Uh, let's say, for example, Eric, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Remember, you have to use I'm going to or I will. No, no, no. I, I didn't hear your question. The quest, question number one. How oh. are you going to spend your next vacation? Probably I will go to, uh, to the beach. Okay. Very good. Uh, Carla, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Carla? Okay, sorry, next. Teacher, sorry. Okay. I guess I will um, to rest in the vacation. I will to rest? No, I will rest. I will rest. Mm -hmm. Después de will, verb. I will rest. I will go to the store. I will buy. Okay, so after will, the verb. Uh, okay, very good. Rafael, question. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Uh, I'm going to spend my next vacation, uh, maybe rest on my house, on my home. Okay, I'm, I'm going to rest. rest. Yes. Very good, okay. So, empiecen a usar la estructura, ¿verdad? Estamos usando I'm going to or I will. Uh, Kenya, uh, the next question number two is, uh, wait, perdí la pregunta. Ah, number two, where are you going to go? Hablando de vacation, right? Your next vacation, where are you going to go? I think I will to the beach. Okay, I think I will. Y después de I will viene el verbo en base. I think I will go to the beach. Go to the beach. Very good. Okay. Um, Michelle, where are you going to go? Your next vacation. Probably I will go to Monte Cristo. Very good, okay. Question number three. Where are you going to, huh? when, sorry, when, tiempo, when? When are you going to take your next vacation? Mm -hmm. Stephanie, when? I'm going, I'm going to take my next vacation in December. Okay. Right, very good. Primero Dios que sí. Que todo eso se aclare, ¿verdad? Yes. All right, very good. 
Now, if you are not sure, if you're not 100% sure, what do you use? Possibility. Going to or will? Will. Will. Will, will. ¿verdad? So, uh, Eric, when are you going to take your next vacation? I don't want more vacation, sir. You don't want any more vacation? No, really. I already been in like four months on vacation. <laughs> I found four months in vacation. Okay, but think about, um, you say you would like to go to Guatemala or Roatán, did you say? Yeah, I am going to take my next vacation by uh, my wife's anniversary. Nice, nice. Okay, very good. And the question number four is, how long are you going to be on vacation? How long? It's speaking about time, right? One week, one month. What about you, uh, Valdemir? How long are you going to be on vacation? I guess I will be in vacation one week. Okay, very good. So since you don't know 100%, what do you use? I will, verdad? I will. Very good for possibilities. Okay, let me let me give you a review. I want to uh, spend a little time and I want to review something with you. Okay, now, repasemos los verb tenses eh, hasta llegar I will, que es el uh, continue, uh, future continuous. Um, let's see. Mm, this one. No, este va acá. I will. Ya vamos a repasar los verb tenses. Quiero, quiero hacer esa práctica con ustedes. Okay, very good. So, solo quiero borrar. All right, very good. So, let's do a review. A review. Ustedes ya están intermedio, right? Intermediate English level. So right now, you should be at least in the first six verb tenses. Verb tenses, ¿qué quiere decir verb tenses? Speaking about grammar, verb tenses. ¿Qué quiere decir verb tenses? Okay. ¿Alguien sabe cuántos verb tenses tenemos? In English? How many verb tenses in English? Question. How many verb tenses in English? How many verb tenses in English? Three. Three verb tenses? Uh, see, see, no. Past, present, future, yes three different uh, tenses, but you have simple. Past participle. Es es uno, a simple, continuous, perfect, and perfect continuous. Okay? So, son cuatro, y cada uno tiene past, present, or future. How many? Seven. La, no, usen la multiplicación. Simple, continuous, perfect, and perfect continuous. ¿Cuántos son? Cuatro. And Twelve. Past, present, and future. Four times three. Twelve. Twelve. Very Twelve. good. The correct answer is 12. English, el, el idioma de inglés tiene 12 tenses. Okay. English. No sé del español. No sé. Yo sé que me iban a preguntar eso. I don't remember exactly. But I think, for example, French. French tiene 24 verb tenses in French when you study French. Um, so in English, we have 12. Okay. Now let's go and do a little review. Okay. Let's review. Porque tenemos tiempo. Esta lección, eh, la sección 5 solo es esta lección. 
So let me do a review with you, okay? Simple, present. Empecemos aquí. I'm going to do the first sentence. I play baseball, okay? Simple. I have the verb, my subject verb, complement. Simple, right? Is this simple present? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, ¿qué pasa si quiero ir al pasado? How do I say this? I play baseball in the past. I played baseball. I played baseball. Is that correct? Yes. And in the future, que ya se lo di aquí, what is the future? I will. I will play baseball. Okay? I will play baseball. Que es lo que vimos ahora también. I will play baseball. Okay? Now, solo que lo vimos un poquito más avanzado. I think I will play baseball. I'm probably going to play baseball. Okay? Now, Let's do a negative sentence. Simple present, but in negative. Porque cada uno de esos tiempos tiene positive, negative, and question. <clears throat> okay? So how do you do it in negative? The same thing. I play baseball, but in negative. I didn't play I don't. baseball. Didn't I or don't? I don't play baseball. I don't. Sorry, Correct. <clears throat> I don't. I don't play baseball. Okay, now, negative, but past. I didn't play baseball. Ahí está la que me acaba de decir. I didn't play baseball. Do you understand the difference, right? Didn't? Yes. yes. And don't. Yes, sir. What about a simple future, but in negative? A woman. Uh I won't. I won't play baseball. I won't play baseball. Very good. Mm -hmm. ¿Se acuerda que le dije el negativo de will is won't? Very won't. good. Hold on. Okay. What about questions? Questions. Empecemos aquí el presente. Siempre vamos a empezar en el presente. Questions. Do you play baseball? Do you play baseball? Very good. Y esto es repaso, right? Esto ya lo vieron, esto es in, uh, basic. All right? <clears throat> Negative uh, questions, but in the past. Did you? Did you play baseball? Very good. Did you play baseball? Very good. Questions? In simple future? Will you play baseball? Very good. Aquí estoy usando will, right? Will you play baseball? Okay. Very good. So ya hicimos el simple, el simple, pres, eh, simple tense. So ¿cuántos tenemos ahorita? And see. <clears throat> Verb tenses. One. Two. Three. Tengo tres. Verb tenses. Okay? In English. Now, this that's pretty much basic, but let's go to the next one. Continuous. Este ya lo vieron también. Continuous. So, I'm going to make an, the same example. I am playing baseball. Y de allí vamos a partir. Oh, el continuo ING. El continuous is NG. También se conoce como el progressive. Uh, to talk about actions that you are doing right now. So, the same example, but in negative. I am I not was. flying. I am not. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Was by ir en el pasado. I am not, pero ahorita estamos en presente. I am not. I'm not flying baseball. Very good. Okay, so let's go now, antes que termine allí, let's go to positive. But, I'm sorry, a past with... Uh, was positive. I? Was, was I? I? No, I. Was Empezar I con el sujeto. Sara. 
eh, si es positivo o negativo la oración, va a comenzar con el sujeto. Sí, yo estaba en la, en la otra. Ah, ok. I was playing baseball. baseball. Ok. This is to talk about, hey, what were you doing yesterday? Yesterday I was playing baseball. Ok. And negative. I, I wasn't. Was, I wasn't or I was not playing baseball. baseball. Ok. Now, me voy a adelantar aquí en going to. I'm going to play baseball. Negative. I am. Not. I am. I am not going to play baseball. Very good. Negative, right? So, ya tenemos todo. Solo nos faltan las preguntas. Mm -hmm. Let's go now to con, eh, 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 the present. Present continuous. And I. I Sí, puedes usar I might, solo que ahí te estarías preguntando a ti mismo. Vamos a cambiar. Vamos, vamos a preguntarle a otra persona. Are you? Are you playing, playing baseball? Are you playing baseball? Okay. Questions? Are you? No. Estamos en el pasado aquí. En el pasado. Uh -huh. Where were you? Uh -huh. Were you playing were baseball? You playing Baseball. Because remember, si uso you, tengo que usar el, el, el verb to be en el pasado, where? Where? And questions here, going to? Are you, are you going to play, play baseball? baseball? Okay. Very good. ¿Pueden ustedes llegar hasta aquí? Es decir, ¿pueden completar estos seis verb tenses? One, two, three, four, five, six. ¿Cuántos verb tenses tenemos hasta ahorita? Six. We have six. So, for you, for your level, intermediate English, your level, you have to be able to manage these six tenses. Okay? ¿Quién no está aquí todavía? En este nivel. Debería, porque esto es intermediate. Sí. Uh -huh. Look, y también lo enseñan en el básico. Eh, lo simple. Uh -huh. Lo simple. Uh -huh. Y también el continuous. Um, so, en mi consideración, Aquí, perdón, la línea no me salió muy bien. <laughs> De aquí para arriba es intermediate and basic. Ok. okay. De, aquí par, de, de aquí para abajo, donde ya les voy a mostrar, es intermediate and advanced. Ok. In my opinion. Ok. Y casi todos los libros de, de gramática, todos los cursos de, grama, de inglés, lo dividen aquí. Intermediate, está, hay como una línea divisora aquí. Okay? Intermediate. All right. So, questions for this? No question. Questions, okay? Very good. So, for homework, eh, esto lo pueden hacer, esto es como un repaso. Y lo del tema de la sección 5 incluye esto, esta sección. Okay. So, el, la sección 5 nos da como un repaso avanzado de estos. Okay. Pero para que ustedes puedan ver dónde están y a ver si tienen alguna deficiencia en algún verb tense, pueden realiz, realizar todo el cuadro. Okay. So, voy a cortar una foto. Les voy a dejar este como ejemplo, pero quiero que ustedes hagan uno, ustedes. ¿Okay? Como un, un repaso y también future and going to, que es lo de la sección 5. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? No, All right. So, I'm going to give you this for homework. Let's go now to the last activity that we, we have time for an activity. Let me, let me go here. I have some questions here, regresando al tema de la sección 5. Uh, we can use going to or will, right? So, 
Um, these are more questions, right, that you can ask. I want you to take some time and do a, a discussion here. I have questions with going to, and I have questions with will. For example, number one, what are you going to do next week? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you planning to do after this module, after this, this class, at the modulo? What are you planning to do one year from now? What are you going to do after you graduate from the English program? Okay, so here you can use going to, and you can you remember going to is for decisions that you have already made. Then we have will. Number one, what will you, what will you, what time, perdón, what time will you wake up tomorrow? What time will you eat breakfast tomorrow? When will you finish your English program? Where will you travel after COVID-19, right? Cuando pase todo eso, where will you travel? What time will you go to sleep tonight? Okay. So I want you to take some time here using going to and will. Okay. Let's have a, a discussion. Let's go to groups and let's have a discussion. Let's answer those questions, okay? I'm going to put the questions in WhatsApp. Raul? I'm going to put you in a group, okay? Okay, Raul, you can accept the invitation now. Go to group number two. Hello. Okay, hello. Uh, we're going to use the, the questions that I put on WhatsApp. Number one, okay. we're going, let's practice going to. What are you going to do next week? I'm going to visit my family. Very good. Okay. And is that something that you have decided on? Yes. Okay. So very good. So we use going to. Uh, next, Eric, what are you going to do next week? Next week, I am going to watch TV. Very good. Okay. Uh, and Michelle, what are you going to do next week? I'm going to do some exams. Okay, very good. We use going to for decisions that you have already taken. Okay, continue, continue. Continue with the questions. What are you going to do tomorrow? Comenzamos. Ask you. Okay. Pero, ¿cómo vamos a hacer? Yo pregunto y ustedes responden o... Sí, pregunta y nosotros estábamos contestando una y una. Ah, oh, wow, ok. Con el going to, entonces. Uh, what are you going to, to do next week? The next week, I'm going to visit it uh, to my grandma. Very good. Oh, it's okay. okay. I am going to go Santa Ana. Okay. Okay, um, what about you, Raul? What are you going to do next week? Uh, I'm going to go at the supermarket. I'm going to go to the supermarket? To, to the supermarket, yes. Oh, okay, very good. Next question, practice, going to. Um, what's that, what are you, are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm going to work all the day. Okay. I am going to visit my parents. Very okay. good. What, what about you, Raul? I'm going to, to work. Okay. Very good. Now, todas esas son decisiones que ustedes ya, ya han tomado. 
right? Going to. Yes. Okay, number three. ¿Siempre con el going to o lo pasamos con el going? Yeah, yeah. De luna, las primeras, si tú estás viendo el cuadro que mandé, del 1 al 5 son going to. Del, después vienen otras con will, del 1 al 5. Question 3. Okay. ok, what are, what are you, you planning to do after this model? Planning. Planning. Mm -hmm. To do after, after this, model. this model. Pero estamos hablando, we are to talk about today? No, or what, to finish all the modes? No, when you okay. finish, when you finish okay. in the, next week. I'm going to continue, continue with the other model. Okay, very good. Next. I am going to do next, uh, learn Excel. I'm going to learn Excel. Very good. I'm going to learn Excel, yes. I, I'm going to continue studying. Very good. I'm going to continue. Y después de going to, viene un verbo. I'm going to continue studying. Very good. Okay. Question number four. What are you planning to do one year from now? Next year. One year from now. This is uh, July. 2021. I'm going to learn other uh, idiom. Very good. Uh, language. Language. Idioma in, in English is language. Very good. Okay. I am going to do travel I repeat you're going you're going to what to travel ah travel yes yes in the United States good good okay uh, I'm going to graduate for the for the university very good okay now we're going to ah one more question what are you going to do after you graduate from this English program I'm sorry. I'm going to continue practice my English. English. Okay. Very good. Good job. Okay. I am going to practice English. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to continue studying. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to go to the other ones, which are will. Yeah. Question number one with will. What what time will you wake wake up tomorrow? I I I guess I will wake up five o'clock. Okay. Okay. I will wake up uh, at six p six a.m. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. I I will at six o'clock. Okay. Remember to use uh, probably, maybe. Uh, I think. Okay. Okay, very good. Continue. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Mm -hmm. Entonces, para responder ahí, no, no ocupo, I will, no, maybe at seven o'clock. No, maybe I will ah, okay. wake up at seven o'clock. Ah, okay. Because it's still future, right? Yes. Next two questions. Okay. Um, Next question. And number three, I think, right? When will you finish your English program? I think 
Maybe I will. I, I don't know. <laughs> they say six months in six months in one year. This month. <laughs> no, I but no, I, I mean everything advance, everything. <laughs> Maybe I will finish my program English uh, in six months. Okay, very good. Very good. What maybe, about you, Rafael? Maybe uh, I will in two months. Okay, maybe I will what? You need a verb. Uh, maybe I will. I will. Uh, finish my English English program in two months. Okay, very good. Hey, okay, next question, next question. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Okay, next question, let me see. Um, where will you travel after COVID-19? Where will I will you travel, travel to after, after COVID-19 to mm -hmm. uh, USA. Okay, I would probably travel, you remember to use probably, maybe, I guess, I think. I think I will to travel to the United States. Very good. Okay. Okay. Yes. Maybe I I will to travel to Guatemala. Okay. Maybe I will travel to. Oh. Uh, okay. 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 Hi, Hello, teacher. Kenya. What happened? Hi. My my classmate classmate. Uh -huh. Um, se tuvo que ir porque está cayendo una tormenta. Ah, uh, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, so uh, we're almost done uh, here. Uh, we're <laughs> almost done, but I want you to practice this lesson with the questions that I sent you, uh, that I put in WhatsApp. Another thing that you can do to test your knowledge is try to do the verb tenses. Hicimos los six verb tenses. So maybe you can practice that. If you want to send it to me, me mandas un mensaje, un, un tomale, no sé, hacerlo en Word, si puedes. Send it to me, and then you, oh. and, I, and I can check for you. Okay? Okay. Eso es algo extra, no es, no es parte de la plataforma, pero sí es algo que, que te va a servir mucho. Para, para, en privado, para. teacher. Yeah, you can send me a message. That's fine. Okay, very good. So, um, for homework, eh, lo primordial es la plataforma. So finish the test, finish the final exam. You can look at this lesson again. Okay. Um, what you can do is answer the questions that I sent you, right? The, las preguntas que estamos discutiendo en grupos. You can answer those questions, but in writing, in writing. So if you want to write something and you want to send it to me, si ustedes quieren mandármelo a mí personalmente, yo lo reviso. Um, also, if you want to practice the verb tenses. ¿Se acuerda que hicimos los verb tenses? Eh, simple, future, past, okay? Eh, solo quiero mostrarles algo acerca de los verb tenses. Se los voy a mandar. So, don't worry. Um, the verb tenses. Eh, se me olvidó mencionarles uno que también es continuous, eh, future continuous. For example, when you say, I will be playing baseball. Okay? So, pueden usar ese también. So for the continuous, in reality, pueden usar el que estamos practicando ahorita, going to, or will be. And if you use will be, the next, the next word is ing. Okay, so, le voy a mandar esto. 
eh, se lo voy a mandar en Word, pero no sé si eh, el WhatsApp les va a permitir descargarlos como Word. Por veces hay problemas con eso, ¿ok? Pero se los voy a mandar en Word y también les voy a mandar como una captura de pantalla así. Y traten de hacer esto, ¿ok? Everything, negative, positive, questions, eh, simple past, simple present, simple future, ahí hay tres. Past continuous, present continuous, future continuous, ahí six. There's six, ¿ok? And then will be and going to. All right. And then finish everything in the platform. Preguntas? Section five this week and the test. Okay, very good. So I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. See you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Have a good. Have a good night. Thank you.